Are you ready to thrive? It is time to take action. Hello, everyone. This is Jen, and you are listening to Thrive by Jen Radio on Transformation Talk Radio. What is the result of thriving? Body confidence, mind fulfillment, and soul synchronicity. Tune in to hear about these elements and the scientifically and spiritually proven action steps to stand in confidence, love from within, be unstoppable in fulfilling your dreams, and create synchronicity so you can flow toward abundance and love. Hear real stories that will inspire you to take action today and be a catalyst for positive change in this world through creating your own Thrive Life. Let's do this. Feel empowered and ignite your soul with Thrive by Gen Radio starting now. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this happy Monday. And I'm pretty excited. Um, we're going to do our last uh, show in this series. We've been talking about adult bullying. And I have my fantastic friend here, Kathy Margiasso. Kathy, welcome. Thank you. I'm excited for you to be here. We, Kathy and I connected and we started talking about, um, you know, just a little recap how this all started. I was bullied on Facebook and, uh, you know, my thing is, is, and Kathy and I have spoken about this is what do we do to turn this into something positive? And, and my positive, um, perspective about it was let's, I'm going to turn it into a series of shows. And what was surprising and a little, um, sad was how many people, have reached out to me. So grateful that everybody has reached out to me. We've gotten so, so many emails and Facebook messages about adults who are getting bullied. And it's been happening at work. It's been happening in church. It's been happening with friends. Uh, And Kathy and I will talk a little bit about that because this just isn't about this, um, you know, it's the right leaving school. And sometimes we say some of our behaviors like being back in high school where people are getting snippy and and snooty with us. So this was pretty surprising that this was happening so much and also with family. I was surprised at how much was happening with family. So I want to dive in because we have so much to talk about. So Kathy, I just, if you can uh, share with our audience, just tell us a little bit about, um, I I want to hear a little bit about you and, and who you are as well as a little bit about your story about what happened and, and um, we'll talk more. I, I also want to hear about, this is important to you to, to share with us because you are, who are a life coach and you can help people get through bullying and what happened. So, mm-hmm. so, so welcome. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Um, well, I'm a fitness professional for over 30 years and um, I am a personal trainer, I teach class, I'm a health coach, I'm a life coach, I teach CPR, I'm a consultant. So I, I do it, I wear a number of different hats. Um, I've had a number of different positions over the years in the, in the fitness world. Um, my, my incident basically um, was I was a manager at a studio, fitness studio, and I had an employee who gave a uh, resignation. But due to, Um, actions that were happening leading up to the resignation. That was not a surprise. Um, She had given notice and I just turned around and said, okay, well, thank you. Um, And I just said, but today is your last day. Um, And um, totally justified and, and everything. But basically the bottom line, what happened was that first, you know, disgruntled employee, not happy. I totally get it. And the email started rather benign. Um, but then they became more aggressive, um, some vulgar. Uh, it became uh, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, I'm not on Twitter, so I don't know if it was on Twitter or not. Um, and people started telling me things, you know, and, and I was, I was like, shocked. I mean, just shocked. Um, it just, I couldn't believe it. And, but not only did the the emails become more and the Facebook posts and the Instagram become more aggressive, they became um, more attacking me personally, professionally, attacking my character, um, slander. And, and it, it was uh, then when, when it was up on Facebook and Instagram, my email, my name, um, 
it was it was shocking and and hurtful very hurtful yeah let's talk let's talk a little bit about that because i, I think it's such an important that's the that's the piece that we have we struggle with right that this is mm-hmm. just and and uh yesterday I heard something that resonated with me and I was thinking about this hurt that we feel and also just a disappointment, right? Just a, Mm -hmm. just a, that you just can't believe that somebody would do this because they were all lies. They, right. They were fabricated. Uh, Just uh, just lies. And, and I do pride myself on being a good manager that, you know, I respect, respect my employees. I think a good manager, you're only as good as your staff. Mm-hmm. And, and I treat them well. And, and, you know, so it was really surprising and I never saw this side of this person either. So it was just, I was like, what? I was so taken back. Um, you know, the, but you, you want to react. Um, you, your reaction is, is to, you know, tell people that's not true to almost play it out publicly, which is, mm-hmm. you know, of course you don't want to do. Um, and it's, it's very, it's very hard. I mean, the first thing is you have to, you have to step back and you have to say, I have to know my own truth. I knew what happened. I knew, you know, um, when you're dealing with a lot of people and, and, and you're in an environment with, when you are around a lot of people, gossip starts happening and, you know, it becomes, um, a thing. Okay. And, um, and it's, it's very hard to know your own truth and, you know, and be, the bigger person, if you want to say, you know, yes. when somebody's telling lies about you and, yes. and really, I mean, even contacting other people um, and trying to draw other people in mm-hmm. to the incident, I was like, so taken back. And, you know, one of, one of the things that I pride myself on is, and I teach, um, I'm the mother of three adult children, all wonderful adults, all educated and holding really good jobs, all very different. Uh, but I try to empower them with like a concept of like really living above the line, really living above the line. You know, when you live above the line, you, you take ownership and, and accountability and responsibility. Um, and, and really the, the initial thing that I did was what did I do? I, you know, and I would tell my children that when they had conflict in school, you know, um, you know, okay, so, all right, so let's take the emotion down a bit mm-hmm. and let's see what did you play a part in, you know, what's your, what's your responsibility? Um, but you know, but bullies, they really live below the line. They blame other people. They play the victim. They complain. They're critical. Um, and they're very close minded. And, you know, it's, it's something that when you're working with your children and they're growing and they're going through this and you you just don't realize that this would happen in an adult world. Uh, And I'm not talking like young adults, I'm talking a mature adults. And, you know, and basically um, we're not alone. I mean, we're not alone. It it happens all over, all walks of life. Um, And the other thing I, I would say to my kids is, you know, we can't control some situations or what people say, but we can right. control how we react sure. and, and how we're going to handle the situation. Sure. And that's important because, you know, as you're going through this, um, I, I know I felt and, and our listeners maybe have too, is that you want to, you want to take it public. You almost want to scream on that mountaintop, like, come on. And then, you know, it's funny when you, when I, 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 like you're, you're saying, look at it from like, what role did I play? And I, I too like to look at it like, okay, let me look at all the perspectives here. Let me mm-hmm. look at all the different perspectives. And I think about if anything that I said could have been taken in a different perspective and, mm-hmm. and let me see what, you know, let me check and see what my tone was, what the situation is. It's, it's, it's for me, it brings me to a place of compassion and, and right. And understanding. And then I think back to, when, cause you and I are similar in age. I think back to, I'm like, you know what? I'm like back in the days when there was just that rotary phone, <laughs> I'm like, ah, you know, you were limited to what you could do. So, right. um, so I kind of, it, it gives, it gives me that opportunity to, like you said, check my emotion. And that's something that has been a common theme throughout this series. And you're making some great points is check your emotion, right? Another guest had said, you got to stop, like stop, right? Stop in your Stop where you are. You want to react, but you check your emotions. So, what's something that you do? You know, you're that you can share, like your 
uh, you're in the heat of your, you know what I mean? You're reading this stuff, right? And right away you want to like start, and that's what people tend to do. They want to start tapping right on their keyboard. Right. Let me get on my I'm phone. Hiding, right? hiding behind the computer. Um, uh, you know, it, it, that is, it was my immediate reaction. It was, you know, it, it was, and, and, you know, and I really had to think about it, you know, again, like stop, challenge myself and say, you know, okay, you know, what, you know, how do I feel about this? You know, how, what do I think, you know, I could do about it and then finally choose, you know, choose what I'm going to do because every action will have, will have a circumstance, a consequence that comes along with it. So, you know, so how, you know, what, what can, what can I do to, you know, make, or maybe I can't do anything about it. And that's, that's really, uh, you feel powerless in many ways. Um, so, um, so it, it, be, it became, it really became um, a, a situation. And, and initially um, I felt alone, which is horrible. Yeah. Um, and, you, you know, it, it was, it was something that, that really, it's, it's very emotional. It's very emotional. Yes. So you just stop you, you challenge yourself, you think about it, and then you choose what, you know, what you think you might want to do about it. And um, there's, you know, there's some people, like I re really would say to my children, I mean, people who, you know, bring other people down are usually insecure. They usually, you know, put people down, you know, because they, you know, they try to feel better about themselves. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really about assessing the situation and, and you know, what's, what's real and what's fabricated. Sure. Um, but it, but it is scary. And this world, this digital world that we live in, um, this social media, which is, has so many benefits and wonderful things to it. It really does. It keeps us connected. But there, there is the, that downside too. And, sure. you know, so it's, um, it's just a, it can be a scary situation. As a coach, do you suggest, uh, you brought up making a choice, right? We have a choice on how to respond, right? We like the word respond versus react. So do you, uh, do you think it'd be beneficial for, for people to write down, um, I, a, a coach once said to me, and I, I'm not going to say this exactly correct, um, but I, I do practice it. Um, one right? One choice is really, that's not a choice. Two is it's, um, you're, you're still feeling backed to a wall, but three, three now, now we're working with opportunities and solutions. So mm -hmm. do you suggest writing down maybe three or four choices to the situation? So then that way we can take the time to assess on what we're going to do. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, when I'm dealing with um, someone, uh, a client, and um, and they're they're moving toward a goal, they or they need to do something, and they're um, unsure how to do it. I'm like, you know, it, it going back to that old pros and cons. Even you know, okay. writing it down, writing your thoughts down, um, and then and then really trying to figure out, you know, what action steps work best for you. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, that's, you know, it, it's just one, of, it's just a great way to, um, really have a visual then as to, sure. you know, as, as to, you know, what, and you, you might change it and things may take a left turn and you might have that aha moment that I think a lot of people do, but, but we're, you know, we're so strong and, you know, and there's, there's so much greatness in everybody that, mm -hmm. you know, in the end, you can, you can figure out, you know, what is best for you. And it may not be best for another person, you know, sure. either. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a um, quick commercial break. And when we get back, I want to go, I want to talk about the hurt because you brought something up for me. We're hurting people, hurt people. And I want to talk more about that. You're listening to Thrive by Gen Radio on Transformation Talk Radio. Hey, welcome back to Thrive by Gen Radio on Transformation Talk Radio. I am with my good friend, Kathy Margiasso. Kathy is a life coach, and we'll talk a little bit. Um, Kathy, I, I want people to know how to find you right now. They can reach you on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Perfect. On Facebook, uh, as, as well via email, 
at a very simple, it's my name, um, kathy.morgiasso at gmail.com. Awesome. Because I think it's, you know, um, having people always ask me, I've been coaching now for 25 years and I have coaches. So Mm -hmm. it's just one of those things where, uh, right, we're always looking to grow. And so, right, improve that growth needs help. So Mm -hmm. I want to go back to what what you brought up and, and, and it brought something up for me. So I've learned and it's, and there's truth to this, that hurting people hurt people, loving people, love people. So that's why as an individual, it's important for me. I'm always, I'm always working on coming from a place of love because loving people love people. So mm-hmm. let's talk about hurting people hurt people because when you're going through this, right? If you're being bullied, that's what's happening. Mm-hmm. Hurting, you know, that person is hurting. So can you talk a little bit about about what you've learned cuz I, I what I love about your your bullying kind of has come full circle where now you're in a place of compassion. But mm-hmm. share with our audience that circle because you've learned a lot. And I think that, that you can share with people, look, you might be going through a bullying situation right now. Here's, here's you now taking a step back and looking at it. Mm -hmm. Um, in hindsight and, uh, in, in just thinking about the situation is I, I do feel bad. I, I feel, I do feel compassion for this person. I, um, I can see it's a pattern. Um, I can, I can see that, um, I, I don't, I don't know. Again, I, I didn't have a personal relationship with this person, but, you know, but basically I feel, you know, get rid of some of this toxicity, you know, if, if there's someone in your life that's like that, um, you know, surround yourself with those that love you and, and build you up. I mean, look at the, look at the, your inner circle, the people that you hang with, you know, but um, you, you learn, so, and I'm sorry to interrupt is that, um, you, you were able to learn that this person then bullied others. Absolutely. That, that only came out afterwards. Um, and, and I was just like, again, I I always try to look for the best in everyone. I just feel that, you know, um, one of the things in, in my coach training, um, was, um, you know, the imperfect is perfect, right? Um, you're perfect just the way you are and things that have happened in your life make you who you are. Um, so my, my immediate reaction, um, this happened a while ago and, other incidences have come up um, since that, not to me, um, uh, you know, with this person, I was, I, I was like, whatever, whatever happens to this person that makes them so um, mean and nasty and, you know, and, and, and spewing this stuff out into the universe. I mean, you know, what, what I often say is, you know, whatever you put out there, it will come back at you. Uh you know, positive energy, good feeling, good vibration, you know, we, we choose, we choose to be happy. And, you know, and I'm I'm not going to try to fix this person. But, um, but it's you, you stand there and you go, whatever happened that that this person has to be this way. I mean, there, there must be something, and it makes me feel bad. I, I you know, so I, I'm not the really compassion, right. right? The yeah, compassion I'll, comes in, right? Because I just feel that, um, you know, it's it's just it's just not a good thing. Things are not going to go well down the road, and and um, it's beyond what I'm willing to do anyway. You know, to help you know sure. to help this person. Sure. Well, um, too, I think it's important. And let's talk a little bit about. Uh, about controlling the situation because one of the mm-hmm. things in in not only my experience of being bullied but uh, but coaching people through bullying is that we um, you brought it up before where people are okay people are talking about us right they're they are choosing to whether they believe the stories that are being told but they're entertaining it right maybe Mm -hmm. maybe four of your friends are sitting around saying can you believe Kathy did this no that doesn't sound like Kathy maybe she did do it but that's okay part of this process and what what our listeners need to hear is that you got to let that stuff go 
yeah. right? You, you have to let that stuff go. You yeah. can't walk around. If you think about walking around the next 14 days, let's say, let's take two weeks mm-hmm. and, and picturing yourself trying to control what everybody is saying about you, I, you right? You go yeah. out of, not only out of your mind, but you're, 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 not you're not you're not spending your energy efficiently right. not living a life right right also i mean anger anger was another yep. emotion that i felt um you and you have to let that go because otherwise that will that will eat your soul i sure. mean it's it's too much you know too much wasted energy on those things um you know so that, that's what that's why you surround yourself with the people that are there to support you. Um, you know, because it's, it's, it's something that, um, yeah, I mean, I'm only human. So, so to see there were a couple of comments, public comments, um, not too many. Um, but there were a couple of public comments like, Oh wow. Oh wow. I can't believe that, you know, like type of thing. And, and here I am, you're looking at this and initially, again, I had to step away. I had it. I had to shut it off. I had to step away people would come tell me what they saw, um, you know, out there on social media. And, and I was, um, yeah, I was, it was, it was, it was hard, but, but I choose, I choose not to waste energy on that. I really do. Um, you know, but it's, it's hard. It, it takes, it takes time. And, you know, and, and actually for me, um, I did seek some legal counsel. Um, so, um, you know, that was, you know, an action that I took. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, again, that's mm -hmm. probably, you weighed that in your choices, Mm -hmm. right? So we're not saying that you don't necessarily, there might be a situation where legal action is, Mm -hmm. right? It has to come into play. But when you sit and, and, and go through the process of, okay, he, here are my choices. That's where, like you said before, you lost power, but now all of a sudden you empowered yourself. Right. Right. You empowered right. yourself to, to deal with the situation. Right. Right. No, absolutely. You empower yourself how, however you're going to, um, going to do it, whether it's to take some legal action and, and actually, um, I could have gone further down the road, but I didn't want that. All I wanted was for things to be taken down. Sure, That's sure. all I wanted. Um, and then again, again, the bully, um, you, all of a sudden it was like, well, this person says, I never put those things up there. And, it, I, you know, and the one thing, and I, we had evidence and whatever, but, um, and the one thing that I said to um, my attorney at the time, I said, wow, this person's giving me so much credit because I'm so bad at cutting and pasting and all those things. I said, but I said, no, I mean, I would, I would never do that. You know, I I totally approach everything, you know, on the positive side. And, you know, so, um, so yeah, you, because whatever, again, whatever action you choose Mm -hmm. um, has consequences. Sure. You You said something, you said something that's been a common theme in, in all of my guests about this. And, and we're going to take a a quick break and we'll talk about it when we get back, but you said it, it's surrounding yourself. So all of my guests talked about having your tribe, right? Mm -hmm. Having those three, four, five people who you can turn to and that's, you know, that's your support system. So let's take a quick short break. And uh, when we get back, I want to talk about about your tribe, building your tribe, and um, and where to find it. It's it's because I think it's especially difficult as we age, right? It's it's harder. It should it shouldn't be, but it's we feel that the um, the the concept is harder to make new friends when when you're older. So uh, when we get back, we'll talk about building our our tribe. You're listening to Thrive by Gen Radio and Transformation Talk Radio. Hey, welcome back, everybody. You're listening to Thrive by Gen Radio on Transformation Talk Radio. I want to jump, uh, dive in and, and jump into talking about building our tribe. So what's interesting is, gosh, in the past, so, so we, we become like the, the five people that surround us most, 
right? And and uh, which is which is true because if you're around, right? If you're around somebody and and somebody is, if you you're surrounded by five people who are always positive, you're going to raise your standards, right? Mm-hmm. Or you're going to walk away from the tribe. You'll find a new mm-hmm. tribe. So. Mm-hmm. And what usually happens, and, and this has been this has been proven in studies, is that every six months you'll see people of your tribe drop off and new people will naturally come in. So I, I kind of want to throw out there that making new friends is not hard in the sense that it really naturally will happen. I do you agree with that or is there- I totally agree with that. I mean, if you're open. You have right. to just be open. Right. Um, uh, you know, I come into contact with a lot of people. Um, I've done, like I said, in the fitness world, I've done a lot of different positions other than ownership. I've just never owned. But it's but to be a manager of even managing my own household, um, you know, you you have to deal with conflict and confrontation and, and different kinds of people. Um, but, but yes, I mean, you know, you, you want to, um, you, you just want to surround yourself. You want to be open, you know, to, um, accepting new people into your life. Um, right. And, and those opportunities will come. Yep. I mean, it might mean that you have to leave the house, right? I mean, yes. Which, which is a big step for some, right? Mm -hmm. But, but there are opportunities and what's, you said it before, if, you, if there's someone in your tribe that, you know, my, in, in the last two years, you know, my tribe has changed, you know, my closest five has changed dramatically. And, and, and it doesn't mean that when somebody leaves your tribe or you kind of have to break away from that person, that doesn't mean that we have to do it in a mean way, right? Yeah. It doesn't mean that we have to uh, never speak to them again. It just right. means that on, right, in your daily I, if you're right. daily, if it was a daily talk, now maybe we take it down to two times a week talk, you know, and then once a week talk, and you kind of work, work your way backwards uh, right. out, out of the. I also, I also believe that people come into your life for a reason. They mm-hmm. come into your life at a time when you need them, and um, and so sometimes that you know that relationship then is is you know um, closer for a while and and then it drifts off a little bit. I mean, that's just the way, you know, people are. Again, I, I come into contact daily with a lot of people and, you know, and I often will say I have a ton of acquaintances and people that ask me for things and to do things and I'm always usually um, accommodating. Again, I have the must please disease. Um, Let's so, talk about that. <laughs> But it's, but, but yes, I mean, it, it's just, just, I, I would say I have this inner circle of people that really know my heart, really know my soul and that I can go to. And I feel very blessed mm-hmm. to have that. Sure. Um, we truly sure. do. Well, let's talk about too, uh, because the tools are the same if, uh, because, you know, there have been times when there's been, uh, and we can call it bullying. There's been bullying in our, right, in our tightest of circles, right? Mm -hmm. I've had, you know, best friends where we've, we've broken apart. So the tools are the same, the tools that we're talking about, you know, finding compassion, finding your, finding your tribe, looking at things from a different perspective. Those are all the same things that we still employ that we do to get, get through this. But let's talk about your, your must please disease. Uh, because that, that, that leads me to two things that I, I'd like to bring up. I'd like to bring up setting boundaries mm-hmm. and I'd like to bring up that there's, like you said, we've been given gifts and there's people in your path. And right now that person may need something that you have. So if they come they grab it, they grab a hold of it, and maybe they run, you know, maybe there's not a long-term relationship there. That's okay. Right. Right. So let's right. talk about, um, have you had to set boundaries with your must-please disease? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I mean, I can, um, I am a person that I can be on a lot, like 24 seven, you know, and, you know, so, so basically when, when I'm asked to do something, you know, my initial reaction whatever it is, is usually, okay, yes, you know, like, I, I, and, and I really, I've really learned 
to step back a little bit and just say, um, oh, okay, let me consider that if it's something that I'm unsure of and let me consider that and and then really think in soul search in, inside of myself to see, is this something I really want to do or I'm capable of doing? Um, you know, so, um, and, and really, you, I usually come up with the right answer mm-hmm. and, and it's just by just controlling myself a little bit. Sure. Um, but yes, uh, setting boundaries. Um, sometimes it's just not, um, in the workplace taking phone calls after, uh, you know, nine o'clock at night. Sure. Uh, you know, um, when you manage a, a health club and they're open at four thirty in the morning and, you know, they close 10, 11 o'clock at night. Uh, certainly difficult sometimes, but, um, you, you know, but you really try to, yes, set certain boundaries of, you know, what you're willing to do, you know, what, um, and, and again, could lead to, um, certain consequences, you know, right. Sure. So, absolutely. Right. So you, you, if I, I usually, I have found, um, I mean, even, you know, I've, I've been working full time for some time now. And even like, you know, they, what is that old thing? Like, you know, uh, ask, if you want something done, ask somebody who's busy, right? So, you know, oh, could you, could you make like uh, 20 gingerbread men for like tomorrow morning? <laughs> you know, yeah. like that. And, and you go, uh, you know, um, okay, you know, let me, let me get back to you. You know, <laughs> because I've had to. Um, you know, because originally, and then I'll be up till midnight making gingerbread sure. men, right? So it's, so it's something that I know about myself. Um, I consider myself a kind person. I consider myself a caring person. I consider myself somebody who really tries to look at the good in everyone. Uh, Cause I think there is good in everyone and, uh, and just to live, you know, live my life honestly. Sure. And um, you know, so, so yes, you know, so you, you know, again, those who, those who try to take you down, to tear you down, whether it be, you know, professionally, personally, whatever, you just, you know, need to back away, just back away. Um, because it's not, it's not healthy. And, and again, try not to, don't try to change someone. Right. Um, I mean, you can only, change, you, can only right. change you, right? right? You can only change you. You can only work on yourself. You can only, you can only control what you, you know, how you react, what you do. Um, and again, I think it just makes you a better person too. I think it yeah. makes you a more compassionate person. Um, you know, so Absolutely. yeah, and just trying to understand. Sure. You bring up a good point. Um, with um, it reminds me of reframing. I mean, because that's what that's what we learn as coaches and in life, right? We reframe mm-hmm. things and that's what we share, and that's what we can share with our listeners today. Reframing is about uh, changing the story, changing the story Mm -hmm. of, so, but what you bring up is, and what's interesting is what, and I want to share with people because so bullying can happen on so many levels, right? It could be what it was a gross bullying situation with what you, how you went through, but even like, let's, let's do your cookie story, for example, because I think you make a great point is that you're saying yes, right? You're the pleasing person. You're the must please disease. So you're saying yes to things. You're there. You're at a point where there are no boundaries. You'll stay up till mm-hmm. three, four o'clock in the morning, making the gingerbread cookies because you didn't want to say no, right? You wanted to mm-hmm. please the person, but what starts to happen, right? This resentment starts to build up, right? Absolutely. Sure. Resentment Absolutely. starts to build up. And and then your anger or your resentment can be misguided. It can Absolutely. be, you know, and, and then that's Absolutely. when, you know, even, even with my own children, <clears throat> my friends, uh, my husband, I mean, if, if I've lashed out, I'm human, you know, uh, you know, so, and it's always, it's always good to say you're sorry. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I didn't handle the situation well and, and, and just move on from there and grow from there. I've never been a person to step away from, I, I'm not confrontational, but I, I won't cower, you know, to confrontation, you know, so if, if, if it happens, um, but it, it's, you know, to, Yeah, because if you if you hold that in and you're not doing what you truly want to do, what you truly are meant to do, you know, then that's going to that's going to 
harbor resentment and, and it's going to, it's going to eat at you. Sure. So, you know, so yes. Well, you know. well, also too, and again, this is to give our listeners perspective, that turns you into a bullying situation. Absolutely. Right? That turns you. Because again, we take it back to, I want to give that example of hurting people, hurt people is that when you're, when you're just giving, right? We always see those memes like fill the well, right? Mm -hmm. Before you can give. If you're constantly emptying the well, you, you, we do snap. It just, like you said, we're human and it's going to happen. So yeah, again, it's that for our listeners, it's just giving people that perspective and that compassion. Mm-hmm. I'm not making excuses for, I mean, when I, right, when I snap, when I, I'm like you, I, I, I'm quick to apologize. And if I don't realize I did it and somebody brings it to my attention, I'm quick to apologize. Absolutely. So we're, you know, snapping leads to uh, snapping a little bit more and doing right. it, you know, right. Um, so again, just to give our, our, our listeners perspective, if you're in that, if you're being bullied, uh, this is about helping you and, and what helps us is reframing it and just mm-hmm. taking a step, right. Taking a step and saying like, oh, okay, that person's got to be going through something pretty right, painful pretty, to do yeah. what they're doing. Yes. Yes. And, and you try to understand, but some things are beyond what you can help as well. Uh, and beyond so, understanding, right? right beyond. Right. And, and, you know, at some, at some point on cer- some levels, you have to let go. Yeah. Um, because, because again, um, you know yourself. I mean, one of my older clients um, said to me one time, you know, Kathy, give, give yourself something every day again as she used the analogy of the cookie jar you know when we as women and you know i i have two sons and a husband so i'm not going to you know bash men at all but we're constantly somebody comes in and takes another cookie and another cookie she says do something for yourself every day could be five minutes it could be to pray to meditate to to do something and i you know i'm not good at it all the time um but you know i really try to do something for myself each day for and sure. it, you know, it satisfies your soul. And again, then, then I'm, then I have enough to give out. Absolutely. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. You know what? We're going to take a, uh, our last break, but when we, we get back, I want to talk about that because part of that refreshing, not only, right, is it to give, it's also to get through these mm-hmm. tough situations, right? These obstacles that come in our path and we can get through them. When we get back, we're going to, we're going to talk about that more. I think that's important. You're listening to Thrive by Gen Radio on Transformation Talk Radio. Hey, welcome back. We are in our last segment. So I, I just want to jump back to, um, let's talk about filling filling that well, because it's not only to give more, uh, how I found that filling the well and doing something every day for myself and really right. Calming down and meditating Mm -hmm. and, and, um, getting things that put me in a more relaxed state, help me deal with these situations. Right. right? Because it's not, again, too, I, I just, it's not only about bullying. It's also about, I think that there are for, there's rumors that fly, right? There's mm-hmm. cattiness. There's this girlfriend invited two of your two other girlfriends. How come you didn't invite me? That's so strange. There's just there's little things. So right. um, share with us a little bit about because about right filling that well, and it's not only about just the giving. It's about how to handle things. Right, right. Um, how to handle things? I handle them in, in a healthful manner. Um, for me, uh, it's exercise. Uh, sometimes and, and fresh air. Um, uh, you know, if um, I have walked outside, you know, I don't care for the winter, but you know, it's like I'll put my coat on, I just walk, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, trying to what satisfies my soul personally, okay. what satisfies my soul personally. So, um, you know, so sometimes it's, you know, it's okay to sit and, and read my book and have a cup of tea. Um, you know, it's okay to do something, maybe go for, I'm a girl, go for a manicure. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, what makes, what gives me joy? Yeah. 
Um, you know, maybe, maybe calling, uh, you know, one of my, one of my children this year moved to Arlington, Virginia, it's far, you know, so maybe, maybe picking up the phone and saying, Hey, you know, how's your day today or yeah. touching base with, you know, somebody else. So, you know, those are the things that, you know, uh, you know, hearing, you know, Hey mom, you know, before we hang up, um, you know, I love you. Right. Yeah. So, you know, so it's, it's just looking for healthy things it recenters me it it brings me it, it brings me to to know who i am and and that that always helps you that always helps you through these situations yeah absolutely absolutely and 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 also too i mean you, you brought up and it, there is truth to this and i and i i want to share this with our younger listeners is that with age comes maturity right so with age we not only mature through situations, but as I get, you know, as I get older, I get more uh, in tune with my own mortality. And so for me, the wasted, you know, it just doesn't, I don't, it just doesn't phase me what people right. say or what people right. think or, or, or any, it just doesn't because right. it's so, um, it's so important my life is so important to me that I'm living it right day Mm -hmm. by day, how I, how I want to, Mm -hmm. because I, because time is borrowed, you know, this is, this is where I'm borrowed time. And and that is, uh, that's an important point in when you talked about choices. uh, I take that into consideration with my choices, you know, Mm -hmm. do I want to spend the next week? You know, I'll say that too. That's another tool that I, I tend to use is that when something happens, and Kathy and I were talking about this at break is that I really struggled with the word this past week with the word hurt. Cause I, I, I I like, I'm like Kathy in that I believe that people come and go in our lives, right. Based on, on, for me, it's God, you know, God, Mm -hmm. um, uh, puts people in my life and takes people out of my life. And so, um, I accept that. Uh, Mm -hmm. But there are some people that have left where I'm just bummed, like I'm bummed, right? And so the word that kept presenting to to myself this weekend was disappointment. And so let's, I just want to briefly touch on that because you, you reminded me of something that it's, it's an emotion, Mm -hmm. right? And we just, we need to let it run through us. Right. Yes. It's, it's better to feel it and, you know, and deal with it, not put it on the side because mm-hmm. it's, it's a, it's a true emotion. Mm-hmm. And um, so when somebody disappoints us um, and it's not something that you can express to them, and sometimes it's not, um, it, it's, you know, it's okay to feel disappointed in someone. Sure. You know? And, and, and then move on again. I, I agree with you. The older I get, the more it's like, I don't want to waste my energy on this. You know, I'm always looking to, um, I, I think, um, this is like some of the, this is like probably one of the best times of my life. You know, yeah. my, my, you know, my children are grown. I can really look at myself again. Um, you know, who I am, do things that I really want to do. It, you know, um, I'm, I'm not, not where I have to have a bucket list, but you know, you, you start saying, and I think you grow and I, and I think that's how you live. It, you know, living is always growing, setting the next goal, seeing, you know, what can, you know, um, uh, what can I do to improve myself? Yeah. Um, and I think if you really look within yourself and say, you know, what brings me joy? what brings me joy. Um, and, and maybe, maybe when you, or, or when you're coaching somebody, um, you know, you, you, you really try to, you know, ask, you know, really inquisitive questions and things like that and listen and hear, um, what they have to say. And sometimes the thing that they thought they wanted is not what they really wanted, but it's okay to explore that option. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. You you said something that, um, I think is so important and I want you to close with it. If you're, if, if you've bullied or if you have been bullied, I want you to talk about uh, goals because that's one of the things that I've noticed in my own life is that when I don't have two, three, four, five goals that mm-hmm. I am moving towards, right, I'm growing towards, I get, there's too much time on my hands. So mm-hmm. do you, wh- how do you feel about that? Because it's, right, setting those goals, like you said, growing 
tell us, cl- close with that for us, how important that is. Oh, I, I think, I think that's living. I mean, I, I really believe that, um, and it just improves you as a person. Um, you know, people talk about, especially in my industry, New Year's resolutions, mm-hmm. and I always reevaluate myself in April. That's my birthday. So it's, uh, <laughs> I always look to say, am I where I want to be? What, what's the next thing? And, and I'm not always chasing the next best thing. I'm not. You know, what, what, what will I do? Um, you know, one of my goals last year was I'm going to make sure I finish that book club book, every single club, you know, because that's, you know, I'm, I'm a busy person. And that's usually the first question, Kathy, did you finish the book? You know, so it's, I mean, it could be something as simple as that. And then when you achieve that goal, um, it's, it's so gratifying. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, so, and again, sometimes you have your sights set on something and all of a sudden you're like, that's not what I, what I really want. Sure, and it's okay that it's right. You right. have left us with um, amazing, amazing tools and I'm so appreciative. We're going to wrap this up. And uh, so share again, people can find you on Facebook at Kathy yeah. Margiasso, right? They can just look yeah. you up and they can also get you on email, kathy.margiasso yeah. at, at gmail. gmail.com. Perfect. And email mm-hmm. Kathy. Uh, getting a coach is so important. It's so, so important. And uh, it's what, you know, I mean, coaches have coaches and it keeps, right? It's accountability. Absolutely. We always have, you know, mentors and, and you know, it, it keeps us on track. Yes, absolutely. Track. Thank you so much for being with us today. It was such a pleasure. I've, I've uh, you gave me a lot of reminders that I need to, uh, I need to reset myself a little bit. So I appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. You've been listening to Thrive by Gen Radio on Transformation Talk Radio. We'll see you next week. Thank you for listening to Thrive by Gen Radio on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in live each Monday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern, as Jen shares the action steps and real stories from people throughout the country that will ignite you to stand in confidence, love from within, and be unstoppable at fulfilling your dreams. For more information, podcast downloads, and to connect with Jen, visit jenniferzellup.com.